Hello and welcome to video five, which should be the final video um, of how to paint a Dark Angel my style, or how I paint a Dark Angel. So we've, up until now, we've done the metals, we've done the armor, we've done the lenses, and we've done transfers. Uh, and this video is literally straight after I've just done that transfer. So let's move them out of the way and let's move on to how I base my models. So I base literally everything the same way and that's because I'm lazy and I want a cohesive base running through my army. So this is going to be his base. So how did I make it? Well, start with a 32 mil base, which will be there. I get um, a roll of cork. This is just an off I've got here. So a roll of cork. This is railway modeler's cork. It literally comes in a big roll. I think I buy it from eBay. Um, I'm not even sure what measurement this one is. I think it might be five mil, um, but it, yeah, I think it's five mil or it might be seven mil. Either way, you tear it off, super glue it, tear it off and do it how you want it on the base. Da, 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 da. Rips really nice and easily. You can super glue it on, um, uh, build up layers like I have there on this one. Uh, and then sand. Uh, this is my top tip for sand, hobby, uh, hobby tip. Uh, which was given to me by my good friend Pete Reardon. Do not buy GW sand. Do not buy special modelling sand. Buy um, bird sand. Okay, so this is what bird sand looks like. Uh, you can buy it from every supermarket, like Wilco's, if you're in the UK, uh, Wilco's, Pets at Home, things like that. This was three quid for a kilogram. I've been using... This is just a little bit of it. Um, I've been using this for about four years and I'm not even halfway through the bag. This is it unfiltered, Pete um, puts his through, um, uh, through a sieve so he gets through the larger pieces. I quite like the larger pieces so I've kept them in and you can see little off cuts of, uh, of cork that I've used in there. So a bit of PVA or if you're lazy like me today, I super glued so they just go on. And then the whole thing has been sprayed um, with Army Painter leather brown um, spray to give a brown. I used to use GW Mournfang Brown, um, but they stopped making it as a spray uh, and getting your base spray brown makes life really easy. So that's the base. Colours that I will be using on this base are, first of all, uh, Talon Sand. Second, we go for Carrick Stone. Third, we go Screaming Skull, and then my base rims, I use Steel Legion Drab, but you could just use black or whatever it is that you would normally do a base rim for. I switched recently to, uh, about two years ago, to Steel Legion Drab as a base rim, uh, and I haven't looked back. Brush-wise, I use a, this is an older one, this is a GW Large Flat Dry Brush. Um, the newer ones look like that. Um, it's the same thing, large dry brush. As you can see, they're absolutely battered old wrecked, but they don't need to be a really high quality brush. They just need to be dry when you're using them. And I won't change brush between stages. Um, so I get, start off with my Talon Sand. So get a, a chunk on the brush. This isn't proper dry brushing. This is almost like an overbrush. Let's see it out. Rub it out on there. Da -da 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 -da. And then on here, building it up, circular dry brush moves. Bits of sand will come off, don't worry about it. So I dry brush around in circles to get that sort of talent sand look to it. So that sort of, uh, sort of tints the brown, sort of a sandy color. Uh, and you can go heavy or as light as you want on this, but you want to try and keep consistency, at least in squads. Make sure you get around the edges as well, because you do get a bit of the cork showing through at times. So, yada, 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 yada. So I've got the Talon Sand level on. Next up, Carrick Stone. Don't even change your brush. Wash your brush afterwards, that's not a problem. And I go... Exactly the same. Brush as much off as I can. Now with these steps, you want uh, these. What this one now with the carrot stone is going to go around the edges. And again, don't worry if you rub off paint or sand and you get bits of cork showing because that is what the steel legion drab is for. It fixes it all up. So dry brushy round, circular movement movements as much as possible. 
that lightens it up a bit. You can see there's uh, bits of cork showing through there. Just try and get a, an even dry brush across the thing. Think about where the model's gonna be coming from. So this is gonna be the front of the base. So I'm gonna make sure I've got like a nice even coverage there. So that's the Carrick Stone stage. And then switch on to Screaming Skull. This is the lightest stage, so you want less on the brush. And Carrick, my Carrick Stone's getting a bit tired now. I've got loads there, way more than I wanted. So it doesn't matter if I'm brushing it all in. It's actually helps when you mix it in with the others because you're kind of inadvertently blending everything. If you're not quite sure, just back of your hand to check you've not got too much on. There we go. And lighter, so I'm holding the brush further up now. It's a lighter dry brush, this one. And this is really good at picking out the sand, picking out those edges. And for all intents and purposes, that base is now finished. Okay, I'll go and wash that brush up in a minute. Um, I need to do the base rim next. So for the base rim, I use Steel Legion Drab. So get that for the base rim. In fact, do you know what? I'm gonna do my base rim after. I'll show you a different way. So got my base, got my model. Snapped off the base now, because where it was tacked, can reuse that on the base later. Line him up on where you want him on the base. So I think about there works. I didn't really map out where this base was going to be before I put the model. So he's slightly over to one side, which I wouldn't normally like. I'd like him a bit more central. But it's there. Bit of super glue. Like I said, can't edit stuff, so I'm doing it all in real time. This makes um life a lot easier when it um it comes to painting the base room actually so just pressing him onto the base so he's now on his base he's a bit off center that really annoys me so i've done a bad job bad job on the base there ben because uh, he's off to one side um and then i'm going to take that steel legion drab now and do the base rim now there is actually one stage that i'm going to do after off camera but you've already seen it because you've seen the finished model which is the thumbnail for all of these videos and uh, that is um, the um, varnish so I used to use a varnish called testers dull coat which I think you can still get in the states but you certainly can't get it in Europe anymore um, and stocks of it have gone and it was a really good spray because you could spray it when it was raining out so, well you wouldn't spray in the rain but Humidity, temperature, moisture in the air, all of that sort of stuff didn't matter. It never fogged. It was brilliant. Um, before that, I used to use GW's own um, uh, Munitorum varnish. Uh, I've used Purity Seal, which is from Army Painter. All of those have had fogging problems. Um, so I stopped using them. Uh, and then I took a punt and bought something called Rustoleum Crystal Clear, which is um, by the company that bought testers, basically. Um, and it says it's crystal clear matte. It's not matte, it's slightly satin. Um, but I now call it my magic spray, because what it does, can you see now, all I'm doing now is I'm going in with this Steel Legion Drab at any bits of cork that, we're sh that have shown through, and this just gets rid of it. So, base rim painted. Model on the base. Only thing to finish it off is a bit of grass tufts. I use army painted grass tufts at the moment. So these ones are their battlefield tufts and these ones are mountain tufts. Are they mountain? Yeah, mountain tufts. So they look like that and they get different sizes. Uh, I use all the same tufts on them. And for these, they're really simple as well. Just put, decide where they're gonna go. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put one right on the top of that rock formation there. Blob of super glue, tweezers that you were using earlier on your transfers. Um, push it in. There's your grass tuft. And you can put them wherever you like. I think I'm going to go two on this because I've got lots of places. So, yeah, that varnish is magic varnish. It's amazing. Um, and I have revarnished my entire Dark Angel army using it. 
Um, so the thumbnail you see of the finished Dark Angel, which is this finished Dark Angel, you'll see that his armour is slightly glossier, the red is a little bit richer, and uh, you no longer see any sort of edge to the transfers. Uh, that's what the varnish does. Um, it's very trustworthy varnish. I'll put the link for it in the uh, description. Um, I bought mine from Amazon. Um, but there you go. That is a Heresy Junkie paint scheme on how to do a Dark Angel. I um, hope it's been useful for you. And please leave me a comment and of what you'd like to see next, because it's taken me long enough to do this one.